Hi everyone, welcome to Dentison. Outermost layer of the root is called cementum, made up of inorganic and organic material formed by special cells called cementoblast cells. And this process of cementum formation is called cementogenesis. Genesis means formation. That can be your important theory exam question. To understand that, first we need to know more about cementoblast cell. So this video is divided into two parts. First part, we'll get to see about the cementoblast from where it is coming, what are the two different types. And then in the second part, we'll see the process of cementum formation. That is, what are the steps and how different types of cementum are formed in different parts of the root so let's start before starting quickly subscribe to dentozen or this video go ek jaldi se like bhi de do so the first part cementoblast it comes during root formation which happens in the advanced well stage of the tooth development so let's go there so root formation begins once the crown is complete that is enamel and dentin have formed and reduced enamel epithelium on outside its inner and outer layers forms hurt wigs epithelial root sheath outside to this sheath we have dental follicle inside to this sheath we have dental papilla which will now form a dentoblast which will form root dentin so we have seen that under the influence of hurt wigs epithelial root sheath dental papilla cells they transform into odontoblast and they form root dentine but where are our cementoblast cells so let's magnify this region and see so once this root dentine is formed shown here with the pink color beneath the odontoblast cells hers will break so with that we have the spaces in between hers and through these spaces the cells of dental follicle will go inside and will contact the newly formed dentine and once it contacts the dentine now this cell gets the signal and it will differ differentiate into cementoblast cell with the help of bone morphogenic proteins which belongs to transforming growth factors family of the molecules of the growth factors so we have seen that we have got our cementoblast from the dental follicle cells but there is another source of cementoblast recent evidence indicates that hers can form cementoblast with the help of transforming growth factor beta 1 so this type of transition from one epithelial cell to a one mesenchymal cell is called epithelial mesenchymal transition so 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 we have got our cementoblast cell not only that we are, it is also coming from two two sources so the first source is the dental follicle and the second source is hers now let's see how these two types are different so the hers ones they look like this so what is their shape they resemble fibroblast cell that is their spindle shaped or fusiform shaped that is they are wide in the center and narrow at the edges the other type looks like this they resemble osteoblast cells so they are ovoid or polygonal cells why do we need to know about these two types because the ones which come from hers they form the cementum in the coronal region of the root upper region of the root and the ones which come from dental follicle they form the cementum in the apical region of the root now this cementoblast has to form lot of organic matrix of the cementum that is protein so it is a synthetic cell so it has lot of organelles so there are numerous mitochondria well developed golgi apparatus and endoplasmic reticulum are there as you can see in the diagrams so we have got to know everything about cementoblast so when it forms during root formation its two sources and how it appears now we come to the second part of the video that is cementogenesis so cementum that is formed is mainly made up of inorganic and organic material organic is mainly collagen fibers and lesser amounts of non-collagenous proteins and other substances so cementoblast has to do so much of work but this is a smart cell so it will plan its work so for our convenience we are dividing the formation of cementum in steps so in the first step cementoblast will form collagen fibers it will lay down collagen fibers in the second step in between these collagen fibers the non-collagenous proteins will come so that is the second step now what is left the third step that is mineralization in organic material which will be controlled by non-collagenous proteins they will determine where the mineral has to come on the collagen fibers so those are the three steps just for our understanding so these collagen fibers which are formed by cementoblast in the cementum are not enough this cementoblast takes help from its friend which is present in the adjacent periodontal ligament that is fibroblast so these fibroblast cells of the pdl they are forming the pdl fibers so these pdl fibers get embedded inside the cementum as you can see here these blue fibers so these fibers which are coming from the fibroblast of the periodontal ligament they are called extrinsic fibers they are large fibers may be present in bundles they are 5 to 7 microns and they are perpendicular to the root surface as we can see here this is the root surface and these collagen fibers are perpendicular to the root surface the other ones which are coming from the cementoblast are called intrinsic fibers under say even they are smaller fibers 1 to 2 microns and they are arranged parallel to the root surface as we are drawing here they are parallel to the root surface and they are smaller so we have got the steps of cementogenesis and also two types of fibers that is extrinsic fiber and intrinsic fibers now here we have a viva question the ends of these pdl fibers which get embedded inside the cementum on one side and into the bone on the other side they are called sharpies fibers so that is why our question so you have to remember they they are the embedded ends embedded word is important of the pdl fibers now eventually these fibers also get mineralized 
so we have seen this way the cementum has an important function of attaching the tooth with the bone through the pdl so this function is called anchorage of the tooth so now this is we'll go to the actual location where this is happening so here what is happening root dentin is formed that is it has its collagen fibers shown here with the green color so these are the collagen fibers of the dentin now the cementoblast will arrive here at its destination that is it will start its work from the cervical margin so now this cementoblast has to start its process the first step that is collagen fibers so it will start depositing collagen fibers but where in between the collagen fibers of dentin so these two fibers get mixed that is collagen fibers from dentin shown here with green color get mixed with the collagen fibers formed by the cementum shown here with red color so that is the first step second step is that now the non collagenous proteins will come in between these red fibers and protein non collagenous proteins will determine the mineralization so with the help of that the third step that is mineralization of this first layer is done so we can say that the first initial cementum layer which is formed it is attached to the dentin and that is how the junction between cementum and dentin forms like this and this junction is a straight line in permanent teeth and it may be scalloped in the deciduous teeth now once this first layer is formed now the cementoblast will retract backwards ye piche ko jayega what will it do now it will form more collagenous fibers thicker collagenous fibers with fringes bahar ko projections nikle hue hain and these are now called as fibrous fringes fibrous fringes so what is the role of these fibrous fringes now the there are also periodontal ligament fibers which are developing in the outside now these pdl fibers will come into the cementum these blue fibers and they will get attached to these fibrous fringes so before this attachment there were only intrinsic fibers these red fibers coming from cementoblast so this was called intrinsic cementum but now these extrinsic fibers from pdl are there and they are attached and now after this attachment this is called extrinsic fiber cementum and this attachment takes place only once the two third of the root is formed so after that only these fibers get attached and then these fibers also get mineralized and that is how this layer of cementum is formed from the cervical margin up to the apical third of the root so we have seen that throughout this process of cementum formation where are the cementoblast cells so these cementoblast cells they remain always remain on the surface of the forming cementum they do not go inside the cementum that is very very important point about these cells and they form this cementum in layers that means one layer of cementum is formed then they take rest another layer of cementum is formed then again they take rest so whenever they are taking rest we can see line there and these lines which are seen in the cementum they are given a special name they are called in incremental lines of salter here you have your another viva question the incremental lines of cementum are incremental lines of salter so first part of cementum has formed from the cervical margin to the apical third and this type of cementum is the only type of cementum which is present in the single rooted teeth that is incisors and canines they do not have any other type of cementum and its main role is anchorage anchorage that is attachment of the tooth remember that the important role now the second type of cementum is formed in molars and premolars in their apical region now again the cementoblast cells will come here where where there is forming dentin there is collagen fibers and now again the collagen fibers will be deposited by the cementoblast initially they are randomly arranged but then they get parallel to the root surface and then this matrix this collagen fibers organic matrix is deposited this layer is deposited and then it the layer will get mineralized so as the one layer gets mineralized a new layer of uncalcified matrix is formed so an uncalcified matrix layer is always there in this type of cementum and that is given a special name this is called cementoid that is your another viva question what is cementoid but it is uncalcified cementum uncalcified matrix of cementum seen in the apical region now when these cementoblasts are forming this type of cementum rapidly they get entrapped inside this forming cementum cell khud hi uske andar phas jata hai now when the cell is inside the cementum it needs a space to live so the space in which this cell lives inside the cementum that space is called lacuna you remember the term lacuna so now this is a cell cell it needs nutrition also so where will it get nutrition cementum has no blood supply it is avascular so it will get its nutrition from the blood vessels of the pdl periodontal ligament and so forth to to do that these cells have their processes which are directed towards the pdl all the processes are towards pdl that is your another viva question why these processes are towards pdl to get nutrition now these processes also need the space to live so the spaces in which these processes live the smaller spaces they are called canaliculi canaliculi so don't get confused 
lacuna is the space where the cell lives canaliculi is the space where its processes live now this cell which is embedded inside the cementum and has this lacuna and canaliculi is given a special name this cell is called cementocyte that is your another important viva question what is cementocyte these are the embedded cementoblast cells inside the forming matrix it and cementum keeps forming on the apical region of the root that contributes to the lengthening of the root with that the deeper cells in the deeper layer of the cement they will die because they will become far from the nutrition from the pdl so the cementocytes in the deeper layers of the cementum they are not vital they die so we can see empty spaces here empty lacunae in the deeper layers of the cement so as this cementum in this region it gets mineralized completely again we can see the incremental lines that is this cementum is also formed in layers but these lines are widely apart and they are irregular because it is rapidly formed so at this type of cementum where the cells are embedded inside don't you think it looks like bone yes it looks like bone which also has osteocyte cells embedded inside and lacuna and canaliculi so this type of cement and is formed by the cementoblasts which are coming from dental follicle so with that we have come to the complete process of cementogenesis and we also have got the different types of cementum so the first type is acellular which is forming from the cervical margin of the tooth up to the apical two-third of the root and in this cementum no cells are inside the cementum so it is no cementocytes are seen the second one is cellular cementum which is seen in the apical third of the root and here the cementocytes are present now that is based on the cells second classification based on the fibers as the acellular has fibers mainly coming from the periodontal ligament extrinsic fiber it is also called acellular extrinsic fiber cementum and the cellular has mainly fibers which are coming from the cementoblast so this is also called cellular intrinsic fiber cementum now a part of a cellular cementum can also extend upwards onto the enamel surface in the coronal region near the cemento enamel junction now this a cellular cementum has no fibers also so this is called a cellular a fibrillar cementum that means no cells and no fibers are there so we can say there are two types of a cellular cementum and what about cellular now in the cellular cementum mainly it is intrinsic fibers but also there can be fibers from the pdl as we can see here they can also get mixed with the intrinsic fibers so when these fibers get mixed we call it cellular mixed fiber cementum as the word says mixed so the intrinsic fibers they get mixed with the extrinsic fibers now 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 there can be another type of cellular cementum when it is overlapping a cellular cementum in layers that means a layer of a cellular cementum then a layer of cellular cementum with cementocytes so like that when it is in layers it is called cellular mixed stratified cementum stratified means layers so with that we have got the three types of cellular cementum based on the fibers so here we got that a cellular because it forms first in the cervical margin to apical third it is called primary cementum first form and cellular because it forms later it is also called secondary cementum so we have got our classification of the cementum as well with this video that is first one is acellular and cellular and second is based on fibers there can be five classes so that is the completion of cementogenesis now we have come to the summary so you can actually describe it in a flow chart first starting from the cementoblast cell which can come from hers or dental follicle ones which are from hers they form the cementum in the cervical region to a pical third so in three steps first step collagen fibers get mixed with the collagen fibers of dentin second step non collagenous proteins comes in between these fibers third step mineralization happens the crystals are deposited perpendicular to the root surface now because cementoblasts are at the surface only it is called a cellular cementum now the second pathway when the cementoblasts from dental follicle they form the cementum only in the middle third to a pical third of the root or in the interradicular regions in between the roots and in the furcation areas where the root divides now here the first cementoid is formed that is uncalcified matrix which later gets mineralized and then the minerals are formed parallel to the root surface then this cementoblast they are getting embedded inside the matrix which are called cementocytes and this cementum is therefore called cellular cemento cementocytes are living in the lacunae and their processes are inside the canaliculi so this is the entire process of cementogenesis you can also describe the role of matrix vesicles in mineralization
mineralization can also happen in linear fluid so we can also say that a cellular cementum has also has fibers from the pdl extrinsic fibers are also there so it is also called a cellular extrinsic fiber cementum and the embedded ends are called sharpies fibers and in the cellular cementum because it has fibers coming from the cementoblast the intrinsic fibers are there so this is also called as cellular intrinsic fiber cementum then you can also describe the other types based on the fibers also you can draw these diagrams of the two types of cementoblast cells hers and dental follicle cells also before that you can actually show the how the cementoblast cell differentiate with the breakage of the hers and how the dental follicle cells differentiate so you can show that with the diagrams of the root formation so that is how you can write the answer for the cementogenesis now let's check what have you learned so which cell forms cementum then the embedded ends the pdl fiber embedded ends what are they called and what is uncalcified matrix of cementum known as then the cementoblast when they get embedded inside the matrix what are they called why the processes of cementocytes are always towards the periodontal ligament what do they need from there so that is all for this video if you really enjoyed the video do tap on the like button share the video with your friends keep watching keep learning keep smiling and good luck for your exam see you in the next video soon which is on the types of cementum till then take care bye bye